Now, the war renouncing article of the Japanese constitution has been chosen as the most likely candidate to win this year's Nobel Peace Prize that's set to be announced later this week. If this does become reality, the Abe administration in Japan will come under great international pressure to rein in its military ambitions. Our Son Jung in reports. Each year, the Oslo Peace Research Institute forecasts the most likely winner of the Nobel Peace Prize, and this time it has selected Article 9 of the Japanese Constitution. The institute noted the article's renunciation of war and the use of force assume much greater importance amid military tensions in Ukraine and other parts of the world. The article renounces the right to engage in war and rejects the use of force as a means of settling international disputes. However, Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's reinterpretation of the article in July caused protests to erupt in Japan. Against Abe's approach to allow for military expansion, Naomi Takasu, an ordinary housewife from Kanagawa Prefecture, initiated a campaign to highlight Article 9 in the Nobel Peace Prize selection. After garnering more than 400,000 signatures, the Norwegian Nobel Committee tasked with picking the Peace Laureate accepted its recommendation to include Article 9 as a candidate in April. Among the other contenders this year are Pope Francis, Congolese gynecologist Dennis Mukege, and UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon. If Japanese peace activists clinch the prize, it would likely put intense pressure on the Abe government to step back from its military ambitions. The Nobel Peace Prize winner will be announced on Friday. Son Jung-in, Arirang News.